started your career driving a truck for Pepsi. How did that translate into you running Apple and Pepsi, two of the largest companies in the world? What did you learn from that experience? What I learned was the importance of hands-on learning. How to reset shelves, how to deliver products. And now you're an investor yourself. 90% of venture-backed companies fail. Why is it that so many fail, but just some succeed? Well, I don't think of myself as a venture capitalist. Um, venture capitalists look at thousands of different companies and then try to select from that a small number that they want to back. We think of ourselves as mentors, as investors. So the first decision is, is that a person that we think we can really uh, build a relationship of trust with? And then are they solving a really big customer problem? And then how do they think about uh, building a team. Do they realize that it's never done by one person, it's done by a team. These are serial entrepreneurs and um, they have a track record that we can look at. Some new entrepreneurs, the task of being a CEO could be very difficult. For example, the reason that the board brought you over to Apple is because they didn't think Steve Jobs was up to the task. I imagine a lot of entrepreneurs are in that situation where they're just starting out, they want to be the CEO of the company, but they're not really sure what to do. What would be your advice on how to think like a CEO? Well, that's a great question, and I think that uh, everyone has to start someplace. So even a genius uh, like Steve Jobs, who clearly was brilliant, he had the dreams, he had the vision, uh, he saw where things could possibly go. Uh, but like all of us, you know, he made mistakes along the way. I made mistakes along the way. And that's just the nature of being an entrepreneur. He really had to fail his way to success. And, and we all do. Some people are under the impression that you had influenced the board to kind of push Steve out at one point. Why do people think I fired you? It's fine, John. It's all behind us. Is it? Hmm? Don't play stupid. You can't pull it off. Do you know if he ever forgave you for that, or did you guys ever rekindle your relationship? Steve was really hurt because we were such close friends. Uh, he didn't have a lot of friends. He didn't believe in friends. He felt that he had you know, a bigger mission than having friends. But he and I actually were close friends. We were together seven days a week, you know, all the time. Uh, and there was a point when the Macintosh office was failing. The Mac needs to sell for 1995. There is no market research telling us that the Mac is failing because it's overpriced. It's telling us that people don't like it because they think it doesn't do anything. It's closed end to end. Steve wanted to move the marketing off of the Apple II, our only source of cash flow. And uh, he blamed me for pricing the Macintosh too high. I disagreed with him. My job is to make a recommendation to the board. Recommend that we drop the price and double the marketing budget. I can't. Well, what are you going to do? Recommend that we kill the Mac? I already have, Steve. We both went to the board and presented our case. You're issuing contradictory instructions. You're insubordinate. You make people miserable. Our top engineers are fleeing to Sun, Dell, HP. Wall Street doesn't know who's driving the bus. We've lost hundreds of millions in value, and I'm the CEO of Apple, Steve. That's my resume. But before that, you sold carbonated sugar water, right? I sat in a fucking garage with Wozniak and invented the future because artists lead and hacks ask for a show of hands. All right, well, this guy's out of control. I'm perfectly willing to hand in my resignation tonight, but if you want me to stay, you can't have Steve. Settle him out. He can keep a share of stock so he gets our newsletter. He'll have to sever his connection to Apple. And the board said, no, we agree with John, we don't agree with Steve. Uh, and Steve was crushed. And he never really got over that.